Mr. Griffin, I'm sorry to bother you, but there's a, well, there's a situation, and we need to talk. Look, if this is about those droppings in your yard, it was, uh, uh Brian. Yeah, Brian. No, it's this man Chris is hanging out with. He's bad news. Why? What's the problem? Chris is friends with a Nazi. What? At first, I wasn't sure it was him, but I got a closer look, and now there's no question in my mind. Franz Gutentag is really Lieutenant Franz Schlecknacht, the most sadistic SS guard in all of Hitler's concentration camps. That's a very serious accusation. How do you know this man was a Nazi prison guard? Because I was there. It was 1944. I was a young Air Force pilot assigned as part of an escort for a bombing raid over southern Germany when we encountered the Luftwaffe. At first, we thought we were in the clear because the Germans were frightened by the scary shark face on the front of our plane. Ah, oh, a shark! How did it get all the way up here in the sky? Who cares, you fool? Do you want to get eaten? Retreat! But there was one stubborn pilot who saw through our disguise. Most of the surviving American pilots were taken to POW camps, but for some reason, they thought I was gay. So I was taken to a concentration camp. Behind those walls, there was one god who decided everyone's fate. If he pointed to the left, you did hard labor. If he pointed to the right, you died. That man was Franz Schlecknacht. I was spared death but I was given hard labor. He made me sort the camp recyclables, but some of those bottles still had a little bit of soda in them. It would spill out of my hands and make them kind of sticky. Dear God, how my hands would get kind of sticky. <laughs> <laughs> no one should have to suffer the way I suffered. So that's why Chris should stay away from that puppet store guy. It all sounds kind of sketchy. Wait, are you Jamie Kennedy? Am I, am I, am I being skunked or puked or whatever? Some I'm telling you the truth. I swear on my nephew's grave. I don't know. Franz seems like such a nice old man. You, you know, maybe we should just invite him for dinner and clear this whole thing up. Yeah, you know, we got no right passing judgment without getting to know him. Isn't that right, Scottish chipmunk? Yeah, he doesn't talk, but uh, he's a chipmunk and he's Scottish and he would back me up on this. Chris, wait! Where are you going? I'm going to Mr. Gutentag's house. You can't. Why not? Chris, his name isn't Gutentag. It's Schlecknacht, and he's a Nazi! What? It's true. You gotta stay away from that terrible man. Mr. Gutentag isn't a terrible man. He's my friend. Chris, you don't understand. I'm trying to help you. Help me what? Clean your pool with my shirt off? Or wash your car in jean shorts? Bend over in front of you to get little bits of lint out of the rug? I know what you're about, Mr. Herbert. Free labor, and I'm not into it! Chris, you have to choose. It's either Franz or me. Chris, what's the matter? You look upset. Mr. Herbert was saying terrible things about you. He said you liked Hitler, and your name isn't really Gutentag. Oh, Chris, you can't always believe what you hear. For example, everybody thinks that prostitution is illegal, but there are ways around it. All right, let's do it. Both of you are under arrest for prostitution. It's not prostitution. You paid her to have sex. No, I paid her to have sex and we're filming it. So technically it's not prostitution, it's a porno. Oh, well, as long as you're filming and selling it, it's legal. Enjoy your day. Remember, kids, she's not a whore if she's an actor.